Hassan on Taha, who's one of our live 24/7. Yes, on today's show we meet a girl who went from life support to supporting the lives of others. Then we meet the amazing Aunt Kim. She's the one who's married to Uncle Jan. No, man, you should know what Aunt Kim means. It's the Afrikaans word for germinate. We meet the lead vocalist Freddie Vessels. And now lach ons ook lekker saam met the lighter side of life. And we have some great CDs to give away from Aunt Kim. And work lead singer Oom Freddie. Oh, give me strength. So what does it take for you to realize that God has a special purpose for your life? For Melody van Brakel, it took a burst appendix, two major operations, and a week on life support. Melody believes that God restored her from this life-threatening ordeal for a special reason, to reach out to help destitute people. Five years later, she and her husband Albertus were instrumental in founding the Cradle of Hope, a ministry focusing on the plight of women and children in desperate need. In 2003, Melody van Brakel found herself in hospital with a burst appendix and severe septicemia. Her chances of making it out alive were slim. I was in ICU for a whole rick and um, in a coma. That was really for me, it was traumatic. I had to live and think that it is not possible. That can't happen to me. Against all odds, Melody survived. And as she slowly recovered her health, she began questioning why she had been given a second chance at life. I had all of my total gek gemaak, want ek wou weet wat is my doel. Hoe kom is ek nie doe het nie? Four years later, Melody was still asking questions. She soon found herself working with children at the Coronation Park squatter camp in Krugersdorp. Dier met die kinders te werk, het ek toe nou een pad begin een stap met baie van die mamas. Want die mamas bring die kinders na die kleederskoolkie toe en hulle kom haal dan nou weer die kinders. Die heren het met my begin praat op die manier dat ek besef het dat die vrouwens rechtig goeie maas is. Maar wat net eenvoudig meer kan sê. In March 2008, Melody believes she found the answer she'd been looking for. She, her husband Albertus and a group of friends who shared their vision established the Cradle of Hope, a ministry with the aim of uplifting destitute people. A year later, with several outreach and upliftment projects already running, the plight of mothers and children was still close to Melody's heart. I had to the point where I realized that it was a place where women and young women, swanger tieners, dalk, naar jy toe kan gaan waar hulle een bykie gekoester kan word en waar een mens vir hulle kan leer om na hulle self te kyk en na hulle kinders te kyk. She knew it was time to take a big step in faith. Dit het toe nou veroorzaak dat ons in groot geloof verlede jaar hierdie enorme huis in Kreers op Wees gekoop het. Dit is the cradle of hope, house of restoration. At this house, Melody and a team of volunteers take in women of all ages and their children. Ons probeer om te identificeer dat dat die vrouens gehelp wil word en gehelp kan word. En ons glo daar aan elk een verdien 'n kans. Ons geef hulle a mic over, ons laat hulle hare mooi maak en dan voel hulle klaar baie beter. En dan het ons 'n life coach wat vir hulle lewensafrigting gee. Ons het vir pastoor Jake Super wat die geestelike deel van die huis hanteer. She believes that it is here that these women, many of whom have been rejected by those around them and have lost hope, will find a second chance at life. It is our goal to get these mamas and young mothers to fight, to work hard and to learn something to learn, and to sit in their eyes, so that they can come back to the stadium and come back to the stadium and with their families and where they can find themselves and their children to find themselves. Everyone here has a different story to tell. Some have been abandoned, some abused, and some, like Michelle, have come here after hitting the lowest point in their lives. Michelle is an ex-heroin addict who had turned to prostitution to support her habit. She believes that she hit her lowest point awaiting trial in Paulsmore Prison. You have to surrender, you're desperate, and in the end you turn to God because he's the only one who can help you. Michelle's case was dropped, but her husband insisted she get out of Cape Town. She came to Johannesburg with her daughter, and through a chance meeting, found out about the Cradle of Hope. I was staying with my dad, and we used to take Daniela to see the ducks at Broadacres. And 
and um, my dad was talking about getting the social welfare in and I was fighting it because I didn't want to lose my child. And then I met these guys that bring us donations from Woolworths and they were making balloons. Out of balloons they were making shapes and teddy bears and so on. I gave him five rand and I told him the situation. Something in me just opened up towards this guy and he told me about the cradle of hope. Michelle was determined to keep her daughter and applied for a place at the cradle of hope. And then I started bugging Melody. I irritated her because she was on holiday and I was desperate. Toe ons met al die onderhoud gedoen het om te kyk of ons haar kan help of nie, het ons gedink sy is of baie genuine of baie slim. Um, ons het besluit om haar kans te gee. It was at the point where my father was going to take my child away, okay? And there aren't places like this where a mom can go with her child when you're destitute. We came here and I didn't lose my child. And there's no ways I can lose her now unless I mess up badly. Michelle has spent three months at the Cradle of Hope and will be one of the first women to leave here. She believes that through the support and love she found at the Cradle of Hope, she can go out and face the world again. But she also believes that it is only through God that she has been able to overcome her past and live a whole new abundant life. This is a house of restoration and that's what happens here. I was restored from her life on the street as a prostitute doing drugs to a mom, a wife, a proper daughter, and someone who's got a calling. I realize God has a purpose for me. God is the one who untangled my life, that I tangled. And, and if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be where I am. For Melody van Brakel and her team at the Cradle of Hope's House of Restoration, the work is hard and often heartbreaking. But with all the difficulties, also comes the reward of seeing people like Michelle turn their lives around and find their purpose. This is absolutely my roeping. This is my skeppingstool. Yeah, this is um, compassion for the people and for them to help, for them to help. They make a difference in someone else's life. They give them hope.